I've got a question for you. Do you ever think like, deep down, maybe so deep down that you never even consciously thought it to yourself and certainly you wouldn't say it out loud. So I'm going to say it for you. Do you ever think deep down that somebody as clever as you are shouldn't have to work as hard as you do? Yeah. And I can almost hear people saying, how do you know I'm clever? Well, you get my newsletter, you're watching my videos. You know? I don't know everybody on my mailing list personally, obviously, but I do know that the sort of stuff that I do has a limited appeal for people who are not interested in thinking, who are not interested in getting the best out of the people around them, who don't like to challenge themselves, who don't really aspire to anything more than they have. So the mere fact that you're watching this video tells me something about you. So you're an intelligent person, but let me ask you, how are you feeling about your work just now? You see, a lot of people have found the last couple of years really tough. Most of us have just been making it up as we go along. So a lot of people that I'm talking to at the moment, especially people in senior leadership positions, people carrying a lot of responsibility, a lot of people are telling me that they're feeling a little bit worn down, that they're a little bit burnt out. And in some cases, they're feeling a little bit unloved as well. And as I'm talking to people about leadership development, this is what keeps coming back to me, is that it's not just about the skills. I know you've got lots of skills. And yes, we can all always learn more. But it's also about, are you really getting the best out of yourself and out of other people at the moment? You know, it's been tough. And even if it hasn't been as tough in your business as it has been for some, it's probably still been unsettling and it's been challenging. And maybe you've come out of that period of uncertainty, having learned some great things, or maybe you've come out of it thinking, in effect, what was that all about? So let me tell you a little bit about what I've been doing in terms of leadership development programs in-house for some of my corporate clients. In a lot of cases, what we're doing is workshop-based programs um, with some one-to-one -one coaching. And the sorts of things that we're looking at are things like, you know, raising self-awareness, understanding your own strength, seeing what you can build on, where you can really make a difference and contribute something important to your organisation. We've been looking at how you build relationships with other people in a way that gives you more influence um, without being manipulative or you know, feeling that you've got to be in some way inauthentic. We've been also looking at coaching skills about how you nurture the talent in your team, how you get the best out of people, how you inspire them to aim for something bigger and better. And just recently, I started thinking, I'm, you know, I'm really proud of these programs and they're really making a difference for people. But, you know, most of what we're doing in those programs comes out of the NLP practitioner training. And if you were to ask me, what's the best possible leadership development program I can offer you? It's my NLP practitioner training. And you might say, yes, of course, well, you would say that, wouldn't you, Diane? But the last time I checked, 81% of people in corporate jobs who had done the NLP practitioner training with me, and I can't speak for any other NLP trainers, but 81% of those people in corporate jobs who did their NLP practitioner training with me received a promotion, at least one, within a year of doing the training. And no, that's not just because they became more persuasive and or manipulative or whatever. It's actually because they became more valuable employees. They became the people that could make a difference in the organization. And that was visible to those around them. So. If you're ready to stretch yourself, if you're thinking, I'm ready for that next step up, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get there, this might be the thing that just gives you that springboard to go forward and take on the next big challenge. And I know that some of the people who get my mailings, watch my videos, I know some of you have kind of reached the end of your last big push and you're now kind of working your way towards retirement and you may be thinking it's not worth another big investment in me, who are the people coming after you who could really benefit from this? Give it some thought. Because if you are who I think you are, you will love this training and you'll get so much out of it. 
yeah yes okay so you you understand more about yourself you learn to read other people really accurately and have confidence in your understanding about what's going on for other people you learn how to use language so that you can hit the right note with whoever you're talking to so you increase your influence with people in a way that is built on relationships of proper trust and respect you learn so much on this program about how to manage communication in your organization, not just how you have one to one conversations with people. But of course, the one to one conversations are really what we all do all of the time. And if you really want to be a better leader, working on your communication skills is a good place to start. Although you may have heard me say, if you want to be a better leader, work on yourself, full stop. So. Whether you've thought about it and not done it, or whether you've never even considered doing the NLP practitioner training, I urge you to have a look at it and come and do it this autumn. I think it's just what you need at this time. Trust me.